Hi guys, today I want to talk to you about how we can use light dependent resistors and transistors to make a light sensor circuit and this is something that you're expected to know uh, for IGCSE. So firstly, what is a transistor? Well, a transistor is a semiconducting device that's used to either amplify or switch electronic signals uh, and electrical power. Um, and a transistor, it's got three uh, pins coming out of it. One of, it, one of them is called the collector, uh, one's called the base, and one's called the emitter. Now, the base, uh, if there is a voltage difference uh, between the emitter, which will probably be at zero volts compared to the base, if there's a voltage difference between the base and the, and the emitter of over 0 0.6 volts normally, uh, then the transistor will be switched on and current can flow from the collector to the emitter. So very small current going into the base and we get a very large current going from the collector to the emitter. And in a previous video, I was showing how uh, you can use a very, very small current to basically turn an LED on with a LDR. So here's the, the circuit. Now, uh, when the LDR no longer has light shining on it, the resistance of the LDR increases massively. And between the the 10,000 kilo ohm uh, resistor, although to be honest, in my example, my previous video, it's about more like maybe about 100,000 uh, uh, ohms. When the LDR's resistance increases, what happens is the, the, the potential divider that we've set up here uh, that voltage will be pulled up between the LDR and, uh, well, across the LDR. It will go greater than 0 0.6 volts, uh, and it will switch on our transistor, which will turn on the little the little lamp. Or, or in our case, in the previous video, it was an LED, but it's the same idea. Okay, guys, I hope that was useful. Very short, but sweet. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye for now.